Okay, so this video is about the Grafana metrics dashboard that you get with the Prometheus data source. Now, if you remember the Grafana metrics dashboard may not work at all, depends on your version of Grafana and Prometheus. So go into Grafana, let's go into Grafana, data sources, Prometheus, dashboards, and here there's the Grafana metrics. Let's import that. It's not gonna work straight away, but we'll resolve all those problems in the video. So let's look at it. Dashboards manage Grafana metrics. See, so no data not available, no data to show. What's going on here is trying to retrieve metrics information about Grafana through the Prometheus data source. Okay, so we've got the Prometheus data source. We have the Prometheus service running on the Grafana server. The Grafana server also exposes a metrics endpoint. Very similar to Prometheus, Node Exporter, PromTail, and Loki. They all have metrics endpoints that we can use to retrieve statistics. And Prometheus can look at all of those. In this one, we need to set up Prometheus to look at the metrics endpoint coming from the Grafana server. If we press this link here, it shows that's my Grafana URL slash metrics returns a whole lot of metrics that can be read in Prometheus. Now, the problem here is we haven't yet configured Prometheus to read that metrics endpoint. So that's what we need to do. And also this is a public URL, which I'll block later on in the video. So I need to ensure that I can at least call it locally 3127001 colon 3000 because my Prometheus service and my Grafana service are on the same server. Okay, so another thing too, to be aware of, SSH onto your server and you need to be able to ensure that you can at least call that URL from the perspective of the Prometheus service. So curl, okay. Okay, and there's a response. So that URL 127.0.0.1 colon 3000 slash metrics can be retrieved from the perspective of the Prometheus service because it's local as well. Also, if your Grafana server is not returning a response when you type your URL slash metrics, you need to ensure that your Grafana any has several settings. So you need to find the metrics settings. So control W and searching for metrics. There we go. There's the metrics settings. So enabled equals true. That is actually default. That's actually commented out right now, but enabled equals true is default in Grafana. You may not want your Grafana exposing the metrics endpoint. And disabled total stats equals false. That's also commented out. That's the default. If you want, you can set a basic auth username and password. I'm not going to do that. And that's really all you need to do is make sure basically enabled and disabled total stats are either commented out as they are by default or set to true and false. So control X. I made no changes to the Grafana any, but if I did, I'll need to restart the Grafana service using sudo service Grafana server restart and just check its status. Okay. I've already verified that that URL works from the perspective of my Prometheus service. Okay. So now we need to add a scrape target to the Prometheus configuration. Okay. That there. When I installed Prometheus using APT, it put the configuration file, the YML there into the ETC Prometheus folder. Okay. So Prometheus configuration. What we need to do is scroll down to the scrape configs section and we can see already there is a job name called Prometheus. If you go into the explore tab, Prometheus is selected, metrics, there will be a Prometheus job in this list. And there it is there, Prometheus. And all of those items there are what's returned from the Prometheus metrics endpoint. Okay, so we scroll down. There's another one for node. And you can see here with the job name Prometheus, the target is localhost 9090, and it'll look for slash metrics. And it's the same here for the job name node target localhost 9100 it'll look for slash metrics and here is the job for node and these are all the properties being returned by the metrics endpoint okay so what we're going to do is create a new grape target called grafana so let's just copy that section there including the white space before the hyphen and just copy that and we'll see it's going into the scrape configs section okay job name grafana 
Scrape interval 15 seconds, scrape timeout 5 seconds. The target localhost 3000. That's the same as 127.001.3000. It'll look for the metrics endpoint. Okay, so control X, yes. Restart Prometheus and check its status. It's all good. Control C. Now, if we refresh Grafana, may take a minute, but we should see Grafana job appearing in this list here, the metrics list here. Okay, so all of these properties are the same properties that are being returned from the metrics endpoint. So let's have a look. Grafana alerting active alerts. Let's look at the endpoint there. Let's look for active alerts. Grafana alerting active alerts equals zero. Grafana API dashboard get milliseconds. There we go. Grafana API dashboard get milliseconds. So that's really what's going on is Prometheus is reading these metrics endpoints and then providing them to Grafana so that they can then be read in Grafana. So if we go back to the dashboards now home and click Grafana metrics, it's mostly working straight away. There is one that isn't working and that is Grafana version here. So to show you how it's working, so press E to edit the Grafana version visualization and the PromQL query here which looks a lot like LogQL, because LogQL is inspired by PromQL, is looking for a value called Grafana Info. Now, Grafana Info doesn't exist in the latest versions of the Grafana metrics endpoint, but let's just try and search for something similar. Okay, Grafana Build Info is the same information. So, so just copy that and use that instead grafana build info and now we've got some data metric value okay also i could have done this i could have deleted that and start typing the word info and it will give me a selection of properties that it knows about that i could try out and i just happen to know the grafana build info is the information i'm looking for there we go grafana build info so apply that very good and that visualization now works now this mostly worked straight away if we were to look at, say, another one of these, HTTP status codes, edit, there's the job there called Grafana. That found that straight away because in my Prometheus YML, the name of my scrape config is Grafana. Excellent. So last five minutes. Very, very good. So just ensure that your, for example, jobs match the scrape target job names in your YML. Another thing about PromQL, PromQL has more functions than LogQL. For example, sort. At the moment, sort isn't available in LogQL, but it is in PromQL. Very good. So already I can see I have one active instance of Grafana, six dashboards, one user, no playlists. I'm going to reorganize it slightly because I want to see more about this one. The most used handlers. Okay. Now, the next part, as you noticed, my metrics endpoint is public so anyone on the internet can read that now i've already blocked the default port 3000 for grafana and set up the nginx proxy so that i can access my grafana server across the internet with a certificate and a domain name but blocking the metrics endpoint is going to use a different technique i could either block the metrics endpoint completely by saying enabled equals false but then my prometheus service won't be able to read the metrics endpoint so instead i'll add a new location to my nginx sites enabled configuration for my grafana server so open up your nginx configuration and mine was called grafana sbcode.net conf down here we created the one for loki which allows a specific ip address and denies everything else and do something very similar location metrics deny all so nothing will be able to read the metrics endpoint if it's going via my nginx reverse proxy and that is everything external this won't affect local or 127.0.0.1 just anything using the nginx reverse proxy route so control x yes just verify it's okay 
and it's OK. Let's restart Nginx. Double check its status. It's all good. Now, if I was to refresh that, it is now forbidden, but I should still be able to access it locally. There we go, and that's the response, all these values, process open, file descriptors, process resident, memory bytes. That means that Prometheus service is able to query the metrics from my Grafana server, and this dashboard will still work even if I refresh it. Last 15, very good. That is the Grafana metrics dashboard inside Grafana, and that data is coming via the Prometheus data source. Excellent.